Hey cookies, today we are making some delicious and easy beef and broccoli. Let's do it. I'm using a New York strip steak. I really wanted flat iron steak, but I couldn't find it at my local meat market. So this will do. You can also use sirloin or even round steak. It's really up to you. And just make sure you slice it against the grain really thinly. Now I'm starting on the marinade. This is some hoisin sauce. You can find this in the Asian section of any market. Um, I'm adding some soy sauce to it. It should be right next to the soy. And cookies, this is where all the salt in our dish is coming from. We're not adding any additional salt. Now I'm adding in some minced ginger and garlic, some brown sugar, and some fresh orange juice. This orange was so juicy and sweet. Don't skip this. And lastly, we're adding in some cornstarch. Now this is going to thicken the sauce once we start to heat it up. And don't worry, I'll have all the ingredients and measurements in that link in the description box. Since I'm not using real onions, I'm adding onion powder to my steak. Then I'm adding the rest of that cornstarch and also a little splash of water and we're going to mix it until everything is combined. Okay, now pour on half of that marinade, that brown sauce, and we're going to mix it well and let this sit and marinate at room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes. Let's move on to the broccoli. I have some fresh broccoli here and I'm just going to chop off the florets and separate them from the stem. I like to blanch my broccoli first so I've added it to some boiling water and I'm going to leave it in here for about 5 minutes. This allows them to get tender but still have a crunch. This will also reduce the amount of time we need to stir fry the broccoli. Look how green it gets. Y'all I love me some broccoli. After 4 to 5 minutes strain it in your colander and let's cook the steak. Now I've heated up my little bootleg wok. You can use a pan skillet, whatever you have. And I've added some sesame oil to it. If you don't have sesame oil, just use canola. And once that oil heats up, we're going to add in our meat. Lower your heat a little bit to medium high and cook that meat all the way through. Once it's halfway cooked through, then add your broccoli and stir fry. Then just stir fry it together for a minute just until that broccoli heats up. I tried to move the meat on top of the broccoli so that the broccoli has time to warm up at the bottom of that skillet without overcooking our meat. Now it's time to add the rest of that brown sauce. Don't be alarmed if it looks a little thin. Remember we use cornstarch so once that heats up it's going to thicken up beautifully. Y'all this sauce is so doggone good. I really hope you try this but once it thickens up we're done. It's time to eat. Let's put this in a bowl. And while cookies, that is it for this delicious and easy beef and broccoli. I really hope you try this. All the measurements and ingredients can be found in that link in the description box. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. As you can see, I could not stop eating this stuff. So I will talk to you babies later. Be blessed.